friends, welcome back. I'm Sherry. I'm Corey. It's about tram time. It is week number two of our six classic malts tasting. Uh, this time, we're going for one of Sherry's favorites, Dalwini. It's rivaling Balvenie. It is. So it's kind of toss up. I feel like it changed my mind every time I taste it. So we'll see what happens today. Yeah, she's like, bring me my favorite. And then I go downstairs, I'm like, I don't know Which one? what I should bring her. Scotch, that's usually the right answer. It so, really you know. is. Ready for a little history lesson? Oh yeah. Some facts and figures. So built in 1897 as the Strathspey Distillery. <laughs> that's oh, a mouthful. That really is. Say it three times fast. I would, but they only lasted less than a year before they went under. So they only get <laughs> one mention. One mention. That works. Um, Thankfully, changed over to Dalwini pretty quickly, and they've been going pretty much ever since then. Uh, they had a big fire in 1943. They, they rebuilt after the fire, but that was during the, um, the war rationing. So they had to wait until 1940 to reopen officially and start mm. distilling again. And other than a, a slight little stop to do some, some renovations, they've been going strong since 1940. Other fun fact, it is, oh, it was the highest distillery yes. in Scotland. I thought it still was. They, they still say they are. Who passed um, them up? The, um, Find out perhaps. Bravel. Bravel? B-R-A-E-V-A-L? Bravel. Bravel? Mm -hmm. They opened in 1973, <laughs> and they are... Nine feet higher elevation than Dalwini. I feel like that was done purposefully, like just let's let's inch it just above, just just right. enough to say that the highest. I'm surprised they don't put like a, a ten foot tower on top of <laughs> the the silos at at Dalwini. So like, okay, we're taller now, and then they can continue to fight and build slightly larger towers every year. Mm hmm. That'd be pretty fun. Yeah. Um, it is the coldest inhabited point in Scotland. Uh, averaging 43 degrees Fahrenheit. Don't need that stuff. Because of its location, it's an active weather station. Oh, wow. At the distillery, they, they do the full weather of that area, mm -hmm. which is pretty cool. Both distillery and a, uh, a weather place. I checked. Yeah, you can see I'm on Weather Underground as Dalwini. <laughs> like, sweet. Nice. Um, yeah, that's about all I got. I want to try some scotch. Sounds good. Here we go. Let's open her up. <laughs> that was like a splatter. <laughs> so, Delwini was one of the uh, distillers we had a chance to visit our first trip in Scotland. Um, it was kind of fun. It was part of our Rabbi's tour, bus tour throughout um, the different areas in Scotland. and. Um, this one, we didn't get a chance to tour the whole distillery, but um, we actually, sorry, <laughs> back up a bit. We weren't supposed to go to this distillery. It was right. really crabby weather. Well, crabby weather, it's Scotland. It rains and you know, whatever. But um, our tour guide asked what we should do and nobody spoke up and we're like, well, Delwini's nearby. <laughs> Can we go? <laughs> We wanted to add that on our list, but knew we weren't going to be able to add it in um, our other parts of our trip. And we were just minutes away. And we're like, who else likes scotch? And they're like, sure, why not? So we all pop in. And the tour guides, they had this special tasting for folks that didn't have time for the tour, just wanted to do a sit down. They had these wonderful tasting cards that actually had... Um, each of their varieties of their scotch, the different ages and, and blends, um, or not blends, what's the word? The, the different expressions. Expressions, that's better. Um, and then with each of those, they had it paired with a Belgian chocolate, and it was like the best chocolate I have had. And it was amazing, the difference of tasting the scotch and, and tasting the chocolate and then trying it again. I've always, I've done pairings with wine, but really hadn't done a lot of scotch and food pairings, yeah. so. It was, it was definitely uh, an experience to try. It was so good. 
And they had a salted caramel truffle to go with their mm -hmm. cask strength distillery exclusive. And the Winter's Gold had a different flavor of chocolate. And oh, yeah. I would have stayed and, and tried the other three that we didn't, but yeah. there was a bus full of people that were begrudgingly uh, <laughs> sipping on whiskey while the four of us were just living the dream. Yeah, it was a good time. So kind of a special experience. It was it was fun <laughs> just throwing it out there and then we we get to pop in like one of our favorite distilleries. So so let's try some chocolate with with your whiskey. Yeah, but let's delicious. Let's try our try Del Winnie. Yeah. Honey. I get honey today. A little a little of the oaky barrel. Some some barrel notes. Like vanilla. That's mm -hmm. kind of the vanilla notes. Oh, the honey yeah. notes. And it's this like honey floral. Yeah. What I'm mm. getting. But not not heavy on the floral. I no. like because there's ones we tried before that were more heavier on the floral than the honey. Um, and I like the balance of this one. Yeah, no cat flowers in this. <laughs> Just a light, light hint of floral in there. Okay, enough of smelling it. Mm -hmm. it takes you back. That's part of what I love about scotch, especially yeah. specific ones. Is yeah. It brings you back to the that time you had it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But every trip that we take, we pick a different bottle specifically to be our kind of our journey bottle our journey bottle no this one okay so i know we make fun of people that let's say mm, this smells like fresh cut flowers on a tuesday but oh no <laughs> no for real just because of the experience like this one when i smell it i just i smell rain and i know it sounds really weird but then it just makes me think of like all of us scampering off. It just brings, brings me back to that, like on a rainy day. Yeah, no, I get you. <laughs> on a Tuesday <laughs> in the middle of school. Um, no, for real. It, I've never smelled like, it, it's like just as it's starting to rain or just after that smell, um, I get that a little bit. So then it of course brings me back, but, but all of us running from the bus to get into the distillery and dry off and warm up with a good dram, so mm -hmm. I don't know. Almost mm. kind of a melon fruit note. Hmm. No, as I'm uh, looking back at your notes, I just realized you said uh, Del Winnie is meeting, pla uh, meeting place in Gaelic. And I just think that's so fitting from our experience, but then I just feel like our experience with tasting scotch and um, when we used to have our scotch fest tasting parties here, we've got a sign right in that area so that friends gather here. Look forward to those eventual times again, but um, I just love it that scotch brings people together, whether it's in person or virtual, um, it's that meeting place, it's that, that place where you can just connect together and enjoy those notes, but then just share Thoughts in life and whatnot. Yeah. Anyway. It's a nice long sweet finish. Oh man. Just kind of stays with you. This is a 15 year old, 43%. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is also the one. So we had tried it with the Belgian chocolates, but um, I think it was a different expression of Delwini. It was like the winter something. Winter's gold. Winter's gold. Um, had that with homemade chocolate chip cookies mm -hmm. and you know some people might say oh cookies you know chocolate chip cookies that would go with any scotch but it's it's I've had it with some and it doesn't pair up but with Del Winnie a few different expressions oh, that's perfect so anyway now I want to go bake chocolate chip cookies oh, I'm not gonna stop you on that <laughs> now the notes mentioned smoke and hmm. peat but it's it's so lightly peated that I'm not getting any trace of that. I mean, maybe, maybe the barrel char, that little, that tiny little bit of it that we're getting. Yeah. Might be that, that hint of peat that 
peep, they waft over it, but mm -hmm. no, this is, this is one of my favorites. It absolutely is. I'm finally getting the citrus. Um, I know you said melon and I kind of get a little bit of that melon citrus combo, but it's more on the end of the taste, like the back of your tongue a little bit. Um, that's the fun piece, like kind of works well that we're drinking it and talking about it. Cause as you, as you talk and let the air move through your mouth, like it ends up changing the flavors a bit. I've even found like when you're breathing through your, through your nose and then out through your mouth, you'll get a different taste or some of the scotches where you'll finally uh, catch that little bit of smokiness, like on the exhale. Um, with this on the exhale, I get some of the fruit um, and melon flavors, but this one just has this like gentle warmth to it that, oh, I don't know, it's so good. And so much bias. <laughs> so on that note, just so much what? Bias towards it, because we just love this. I know, well, hey. Yeah, but. That's no, why we're sharing it. No one's paying, so we can, uh, <laughs> we we can do whatever it. we want. <laughs> but this is why we're sharing, because yeah. we love it so much. Um, no, so on that note, <laughs> where would we put that in our ranking? Oh, always in the cupboard. Yeah. I beg him to like open another bottle, even if we have <laughs> I want to share a full cabinet. <laughs> I have like 15 open. Um, yeah. Yeah, probably. Even if we have a full cabinet, um, this is one that if we don't have one open, I insist we have a bottle. I think we have three more downstairs in storage. Mm -hmm. Just because there's a big sale and I know we're always going to want a doll Winnie. So. Yeah. So that's your answer. This is the one that I would bring out for friends to try. Uh, new, new folks to scotch, I would absolutely recommend. It's a good gentle one to start with, but it also is has those layers of complexity as you taste it and move through the, the different um, parts of, yeah. of tasting it. If you're not in the mood for a, a PD fire kick in the face kind of night, then when it's usually where we end up at. And if you're making chocolate chip cookies, <sighs> pair it with a bottle of Dalwini. Well, with that, we'll uh, see you guys next week. Slanja. Slanja. <laughs>